Today is February the 28th. This is the update on the Beater Nova. Uh, I got my split monoleaf springs from Calvert in yesterday. James helped me. We put the cow tracks back on it. Uh, Subframe connectors are still on it. And I put new hardware and clips in the saddles that hold the this saddle that holds the spring to the body put new clips new hardware in it uh, it uh, wasn't really too hard because I'd had cow tracks in it before and because of the removal and replacement of that hardware it ended up not taking taking too much time at all I have the subframe connectors I did weld them in I, they were bolt in and I bolted them in and then I welded them but it raised my car up like two inches, which is a good thing. And uh, this car, other than the quarter panels, I mean, this is the, on both sides, this is the only rust on the car, where the, right in here, uh, the inside of the trunk, everything else is good. It just, for some reason, rusted around those, fender well lips and the inner wheelhouse had been cut out. I think somebody tried to put bigger tires under it before I got it, but it's, I mean, it's, it's solid. It's, it's not a rust bucket. Uh, you can see down the side of the car at the way it sits now. It sits pretty good. And here's the back of the springs. This camera's slippery, my hands are dusty. But you can see how everything went together there. And you can also see on the other side. I live on a, about a mile and a half of gravel road and I haven't cleaned it and wiped it down since the last time I drove it, which was in December. It was really nice out, but you can see what kind of shape the bottom of the trunk is and where I got my fuel system hooked up and all that. I mean, it's, there's no rust. It's just right around the fender wells on both sides. So I'll put quarters on it. I'll go ahead and put the whole quarters on it. And I'll probably put the black vinyl top back on it. And of course it'll be black. And the only upgrade I have left to do on it is, well, I have two. I'm gonna put my MSD 6AL box on it. And I'm gonna put this quick performance. It's a Yukon center section that has, it has uh, 370 gears in it. And it's all set up. And if I like it and I wanna run it on the street, I'll get a true track positive track and put in it and use this gear and I'll just check my backlash I'll check my backlash and I'll set it up the same way so it'll have the same wear pattern. I won't have to do anything with the pinion yoke or crush sleeve or anything like that because I can reuse it. And it's got the 1350 billet yoke on it too. So those guys at Quick Performance, you know, they they got their stuff together and I put disc brakes on this. I got everything from them. I got a good deal on it. It was a good price and it was just amazing how everything just went together. There's the old wore out springs. Of course, I got my new doors for my truck, my shop truck. I'm putting a 330, a 348 stroker motor in it. And then of course I got my MSD for the Nova. Nova, it's going on next. So that's one of them, that's one of them things that 
with a four speed at the track, you probably ought to have because if you miss a gear, you don't need a rod check. And I got all the directions and everything and all the cables and leads and everything to hook it all up. I just got to get a, a module that goes to seven, seven grand and I got to get, or put a chip in it, one of the two. But this is some stuff that I've had and I bought this from a guy uh, who had it in a Chevelle and he didn't like the way it was pushing the front end. So he ordered a new one, complete new one with a positive true track in it. It's 35 spline, but he had those little bitty skinny front runners on it. And I got five inch wheels. I got like a 205, uh, 70, 15 on mine, but it definitely has a better stance and it's up a little bit, but I can put my slicks back on it. I won't have to worry about getting down to 12 pounds of air and worrying about, or 10 pounds of air and worrying about wiggling side to side and rubbing on the fender wells. It's going to be no problem anymore. It's going to be really, really nice, even though it's up just a little bit higher, but it's, uh, Definitely raised it a little bit. I got a 275, 60, 15 on the back, and my slicks are 28, 9, 15 on a five inch backspace custom Corvette rally. So they work really good. But anyway, that's the video upgrade. Sorry I didn't get to actually videotape it as we were going, but you get the gist of it. And those parts are cheap and they're good and they'll last and all the suspension, everything on this thing, the tubular A-arms, the disc brakes, everything I've bought, I've put on, and has been easy to put on. I've not had any major issues. Uh, so don't, don't be afraid to convert things over and change things and make them better because, you know, you, you just ain't gonna get there unless you put the effort in.